Justin Bieber, Haley Baldwin, they're very active on social media. They're, are they kind of one of the it couples right now? For sure. They're a hot couple right now. Hot couple. We don't have now too much of an interest. Now that Pete and Ariana are out, they're like They're top. like the couple. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, they do a lot on social media, and they like to show off their relationship or, or maybe just let people know the things they're doing. That's kind of the world we live in here yeah. in 2018. And this recent pic of Haley, Justin responded, holy crap, this is hot. <laughs> is this <laughs> necessary, everybody? Do couples have to profess their love for each other on social media? I I don't think it's necessary. I prefer to kind of keep mine a little bit more secret, private, yeah. not secret, <laughs> private. Um, I don't think it's necessary. I mean, I think it's cute if people want to, if they're really into it. I feel like it's very popular at the beginning of a relationship, but um, yeah, I'm good. You don't, yeah, you, you keep your, really. your personal I'll life. I'll post something if we're like out doing something, if we're on an adventure or something like that, but day to day, I don't really put my boyfriend on social media very much. Jordan, you post a lot. Yeah. I do, I do post a lot, and I, I don't do what Beaver did here so much, like where I make comments like she looks so hot. Mm -hmm. What I do is I share pictures of us or maybe funny videos of her and just in our everyday life because I think what we signed up for here in the, uh, in the news, entertainment business, all that come together is to show our life to the public and some of the things I think that we go through in everyday life as a young couple who's engaged and going through it, living together and experiencing different things, it's stuff that's relatable to other people. So I like to poke fun at it sometimes. Sometimes I like to take it to polls on yeah. there and say, this what do you guys is, think? It's fun. It's interactive. This is where I think it's a little different because I think for women, we try to hold back a little bit more yeah. because you want the you want the privacy. Why is and that? Then, Why do you think that's a gender you know, thing? I think, it's, I think it's a combination of stuff. So when I was like single before I was married, I felt like I didn't want to make put, and I also didn't know how long my boyfriend was going to be there, who's now my husband. I didn't want to put like so many different pictures out there. and Set it up I for fail if it I didn't work. I feel like it looks bad for women to have a different guy every six months, which that might be your life. You might have a date. You might be dating a bunch of different you guys. You said it makes you vulnerable also, to, oh, they were really in love. Yeah, and now here's guy number criticism. two, three, four. Yeah. And which isn't criticism. fair. Which and now fair. that we're married, I still, we post more because we're excited. It's, uh, you know, we've been married over a year now, but it, even still, it's privacy. Yeah. I think it's cute, like, to comment on each other's posts. And, to, like, what he did, I think that's actually pretty cute to be like, oh, you're hot. Like, I get flattered if my boyfriend po comments on one of my pictures or something yeah. like that but um in general i i mean i think we've seen the studies that like when a couple is like putting like look what my man did on facebook or like he's the best like i don't always think that that's genuine and i feel like sometimes you're almost overcompensating i'm yes. not saying that about no, you no, i don't think right. that no, you do I, that no, i agree 100 you never really know like i don't think that what people put out there is always necessarily what's the reality yeah the see like with, with mine it's, it's more poking fun and saying guys don't yeah. you do this i think if i'm Yours posting like pictures, um, wedding planning yeah, look what i'm just, doing yeah. exactly if i'm yeah. just posting a picture of her all the time and going how beautiful is she yeah i'm so lucky it's yes it's like she made you do that yeah what are you asking like what's yes. really going on? I agree 100%. Yes. Ultimatums, those, these things happen frequently, everybody. <laughs> but when it comes to relationships, the ultimatum normally involves something very big, like wanting marriage, not wanting marriage, wanting kids, not wanting kids. It forces your partner to make a decision that may affect the outcome of the relationship. So I got to ask you guys, do you believe in ultimatums in relationships? Are they a good thing? Or I think, think it's you should a good do or thing. bad. I think it's a good thing because what they do, they're setting a standard for your life. Like you're saying, I need this at least from you. Now you can't be setting ultimatums every week or for everything. Some things in a relationship you do have to get over. Your partner's gonna be their partner, your partner, like you they're gonna change be them. who they are. You cannot change them. 100%. But certain things I think you have to set a standard for your life. Like children or marriage, those are important things. Those are deal breakers for me. Yeah, what well, you mentioned partner. Like I look at my relationship and every relationship, I, ideally it is just a partnership and so I think when it comes to things like relationship proposal ultimatums, that's like for a girl to say to a guy, propose to me in six months or we're done, it's giving him all the decision-making power. It's like giving up your power, basically. Even if you, you really want that, you're basically saying, if you want this, then you have to ask me, but... I don't actually I just yeah. I just realized I feel weird because you guys have both gotten engaged. And I don't mean it like it's I don't know. I just feel like sometimes it does feel archaic and sometimes it just puts the pressure on too much. Whereas I think communication is key and like it really should just be about communicating your needs with a part with your partner and just having a discussion about it. But being like, I'm walking away if this doesn't happen. It's See, like I why disagree. do you have to get to that point? I disagree because I'm telling you what I want and what I expect from you. I think it's being brave and confident. You're you're making it clear exactly what you want. And when you say you're making it clear, I, I think that's kind of a, what, what you're saying. I, I would challenge and say, that is communication, isn't it? Like it's saying an ultimatum, like, this is what I want. It is, but it feels aggressive. You gotta it's, be but, aggressive. It's to, to threaten to leave. Be it, it comes as a threat to leave normally, right? <laughs> well, no, I think, I think there's ways to address anything you do. Like for example, if I'm saying, hey, I want to have more kids. 
Uh, this is a perfect example. My fiance wants to have more kids. I have a child from a previous relationship. I maybe could have gone through life never having any more kids and been okay because I have a beautiful son. She made it clear, not saying I'm leaving you if we don't do this, yeah. but she said, I plan to be a mother. If you're not on board with that, yeah. we should not go any further because that's a dream of mine. Yeah. I love that woman. I know she's destined to be a great mother. So I want to help be a part of that and build yeah. that family with her. So I knew what she was saying was, I'm going to leave. She didn't need to say, I'm out of here on June 2019. Yeah. She needed from the relationship. And I so I feel like that's a deal breaker. That's empowering and an ultimatum to me. is like, I'm leaving if you don't give me this. But if you're like, this is my, this is really important to me, what do you think about it? Because I feel like she was like asking you, right? She yeah. wasn't like, just so you know, I'm leaving in two months if, you, if, we're yeah, not, think, if I'm not pregnant. I think getting caught up like in that. the date may, may gray the area. I think yeah. ultimately there are deal, deal breakers with everyone. Yeah, Like sure. Felicia may say, hey, I love Teddy, but if, if Teddy's not going to have any drive to work, I can love this guy, but he's not going to be the guy for me. He's yeah. got to go out and do sure. that. And I Have think standards. once she tells that to yeah. him, yeah, standards. And I think once you let those make those clear, it's up to the other person to say, okay, am I willing to meet this standard? Am I willing to agree to this? Do I also want it? That other person, let's not forget, that other person may say, hey, cool, I don't want to work, so yeah. me and you aren't going to work Hopefully out. Hopefully it doesn't Do get that far yeah. where you have to feel like you're forcing it down someone's throat. Yes. Hopefully you have a partner yeah. that can meet you in the middle and say, and that's what happened with Jordan. He was like, okay, I understand what you're saying. I can bend on this. Yeah. I can change yeah. my life to fit your life. But I feel um, like all the examples we're talking about. That doesn't about, go like that for <laughs> some It's people. all girls giving these ultimatums. Like every single thing we've talked about. Do you feel like guys give ultimatums uh, yeah, to Yeah, guys, girls guys for sure yeah. give ultimatums. I, I, I think, here's the thing, the connotation of ultimatum feels negative. What ultimatum truly is, is communicating your wants and desires. And I think that happens for both genders. And sometimes it happens where she said she wanted more kids and it was like, oh yeah, I kind of would like to do that. And it opened your eyes to something yeah. that you thought you didn't want because you're so closed off to, but through communication allowed you to see that you maybe have a, want it. I have a friend that did not want to get married. She didn't want to get married. He did. And he was like, I want marriage. Like you, if you want to be with me, we're going to be married. He was the one that wanted it. And he told her like, this is the standard for my life. This yeah. is how I was raised and yeah. what I expect and what I want. And, and they what ended happened? up getting married. They did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think you just have to be prepared to live with if they say no, yeah. not doing that. That's the scary part. <laughs> if we don't send it over to Krista Green right now, she's going to leave the okay. show. We can talk about this That's all an day. ultimatum, everybody. Uh